Uh, is my sound okay? Okay, are we good? Are we good? Sorry, unmute po. Okay, now I hope we're good. Okay, let me check. Is my screen shared already? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Now, so again, good morning and welcome for the, um, for the employee discipline for on-site, off-site privileges. Basically, this is um, uh, more of a, what I say, a neutral approach for the work from home. You know? uh, it's very important for both sides, for capital and labor. In, in modern times or for millennials, it's management and the employees. So, kailangan masip. Because number one, um, the pandemic has set so many changes. So, a little ba background about me. And uh, I'm a subject matter expert for Dutch. But uh, for now, my first job really is being a psychological first aider. So aside of my so many jobs behind the four corners of my office. Okay. Now, again, as an added service of the LPC and the Oregonum Solutions, we do pre-consultation. Just drop us an email or a text and then we'll try to get to back to you as much as possible, as early as possible, especially for this particular subject. Okay. Um, here, uh, you would notice kasi it affects employment and it also affects management. That's how critical this subject is, especially if you're uh, you're lucky enough that you still have a job. Ngayon, ang mabigat kasi yung mismo working environment has become consolidated somehow or it has merged. Sa ibang jurisdictions kasi they call it merged. So basic house rules, again, uh, if you've been with us for quite some time, um, please reserve your questions at the end or put it in the chat box and mute the box for you know, it's just one hour. Normally, this is uh, um, four semesters in law school and then two semesters in the MBA. So uh, bear with me. I'll, I'll share as much as I can, but it will be more practical in approach. And then at least I'll give you the scenarios and then kaya yung baunin. Pagbalik sa office, it's very practical now. So you get to have an idea when to tag it as red, red, give it a red flag, or you should review the processes. Kaya nga neutral eh. For the side of management, these are checks and balances for you. And then if you are the employee, you get to know yung abuse. If there is somehow somewhere an abuse, pero ngayon kasi medyo malabo na yan. And then at the end of the day, learn and enjoy. Okay. Now, basically, first scenario is um, the pandemic for now. So, maraming na bago. We're forced to automate, to streamline the process. Um, worst case scenario, some has downsized or in legal terms, uh, reduce their working capacity, reduce yung kanilang mga working personnel. Now, it created a disparity and then syempre how to reconcile business interests and then syempre work welfare. So that kaya ganun siya dito. Ngayon, yung work from home or your off-site privileges na tinatawag natin. Kaya natin dinatawag na off-site because you're not in the supposed work working space or workplace depende kung anong legal jurisdiction ang uh, pinag-uusapan niya but it's inter interchangeable depende naman sa ang manawa but for purposes of the HR practitioners uh, we call it workplace now the advantage is that since it's not a new concept it has been properly utilized by the IT pero construction um especially for doon naman sa mga QA who has to done uh, a lot of uh, citation, outside auditing sa mga ganyan. Hindi na bago. Yun nga lang, ang bago is that 
it forced every industry to have the same protocol or observe observe health protocols and incorporate it in the workplace. So that's the different thing about it. Now, our objective is you have to still differentiate yung working conditions in the workplace. Kasi remember, you brought the work to the home. So, which was normally uh, a, a line is being drawn after office hours. Pero ngayon, paliktad. Yung trabaho ay nasa oras sa opisina and the working hours has blurred it for some uh, working conditions. Kaya nga, another our objective is siyempre to identify red flags. Now, I will not uh, use the red flag as a separate concept doon, but you will have to uh, create your own indicators. While I show you all those scenarios, uh, time frames, and then siyempre yung mga um, cycles. So makik makikita nyo yun along the way. Now, and, and again, part of it is that you have to have a good monitoring. And then siyempre at the latter end is the implementation of the discipline. And at the at the end of the day, it's a balance between the organization's interest, if not business interest, and the safety of the employees, if not welfare of the employees. Kasi malalim dapat yung ata. Kaya nga, if you notice, at the beginning, I put in the chat box if any one of you is HR practitioners. Kasi this is more of a review of your current setup. And then also, you be aware of the legal implications. Kasi, ano natin dyan? Although we'll not dwell of the legality, we'll just uh, speak about the effects or the rules about it. Okay. Now, moving forward, first question of the house is, are you already enjoying the privilege of working from home? Kasi, uh, ano yan? Uh, Sabi ko nga, yung una, hindi bago. But for you, who is still enjoying the privilege of still working, are you working at the house? Or your industry prevents you from working at the home or the other way around? Are you a member of the back office who can manage to work outside of the work premises but the frontliners of that the particular business is still within. So yung accounting, HR, so and so forth, anything that has nothing to do with the front line of the business, you're at the back. So you know working from home. So I need that. Now, please, uh, if you have time, put it in the chat box. If you're working from home. So I'll have an idea while I'll, I'll review everything. While push, we're going, we're moving forward. No, okay. Now, please take note of the terms of reference. Now, uh, this I'd like to share to everybody. If you want to screenshot, fine by me. If you want to uh, go through all those uh, nitty gritties, but. Uh, the questions, please reserve it at the back end, no? at the end of the class. Lang. Now, number one, uh, remember, as a rule, as decided by the Supreme Court, no, the employer-employee rela employer relationship ma is contractual in nature. So, uh, depending, but for purposes of uh, discussion today, I would like to highlight that it is a contractual in nature. So it may be oral and written. Kasi uh, there are some jobs who is just by palabra de honor, especially if you're working at the palengke, if you're uh, doon ka doon sa yung mga cargador natin dyan sa bagsaka ng isda sa Malabon, sa Nabotas, or other uh, shipping yards or fish yards that you are familiar with. And then, a written contract is not necessarily in that relationship. Okay, so 
yan eh, isang decision ng korte all the way back in 1960. Kasi part of it, siyempre, the civil code, civil code is uh, incorporated in that. Kasi andun yung definition ng kontra. Okay, now. For HR managers and HR officers, I encourage you to always remember to categorize the the employee life cycle. So, yung tatlong category dun sa cycle, number one is before employment, and then during employment, and then after employment. Uh, the decisions of the Supreme Court since 2007, maraming nagbago because they, it has to adjust to the uh, the BPO industry, maraming nagbago sa mga HR practices. Now, um, one unique thing also about it is that after May uh, March 17, the first day of the ECQ, it also changes a lot of perspective. So, yung mga ibang recent decisions, but nonetheless, uh, we're not Ano, not all of those legalities pag-uusapan natin. Sinasabi lang natin that this decision has made some major uh, changes in our perspective of the relationship between the two. But the principle is the same. Okay, so anong ibig sabihin? Um, yung sa tatlong stage, sa tatlong categories na to, still it implements those. Okay, so and then onboarding, ano yung rules, and then uh, the before and the during employment, napaka importanting discussion ngayon dyan. We'll discuss it in the full lecture, the probationary period, especially for those who are uh, off-site or you're working from home. Kasi lately, marami nang nag, ano, uh, maraming realization that uh, there are great advantages to work from home. But as to whom is uh, benefiting from it, i -re ko yan for the next slides. So be very careful. That is, my that is my word to you. Be very cautious in applying, especially if you are the HR officer or the HR manager. Kasi pag mga clients ko, pina I, ano yan, um, I tell them, be very careful. Okay, and then remember at the case of the height at the height of the pandemic after employment, especially the old ones. Remember, there was a case that uh, uh, there was a, there is a standing health protocol na bawal lumabas ang mga senior citizen. Tapos uh, there was a hype of the death. So remember, if if you were tracking all these cases, especially if you're a a fellow HR practitioner and OD practitioner like me was tracking all of this because it will affect our operations. Now, uh, moving that aside, if you still remember, many availed of the early retirement because um, the worst case known is uh, you contract the disease. Tapos, it did not happen. Remember, because last year, COVID-19 was not covered or a pandemic is not covered by the employee compensation. Meron sickness benefits uh, in, in the uh, SSS, but you have to, again, be very, very careful about it. So this is, again, another of the uh, indicators uh, that you have to refer to as part of our terms of reference. And then the life cycle, the ano na, yung long yung uh, long form niya say from the recruitment selection now we um, you get to have put him in on board you have to measure now performance and when you measure performance nag meet na ba papasok na naman the rules on probationary period uh the tenure during the in the rules during the probationary period the rules on regularization, and then pass forward. And the full course, we will also discuss in succession. Kasi, uh, remember, at er er earlier, discuss paano kung biglang nag-retire yung head, walang succession planning, walang development program, and then um, nag-downsize ka. Diba? Nag-downsize ka, yung dating trabaho ng lima, magiging ibibigay mo para paghatian ng dalawang tao. So, ganun yung mga bagay na kailangan na ano natin, 
pag-aralan uh, nating maigi. Okay? Another thing, you have to under the pros, understand the pros and cons. Now, um, what was yung most prevalent na, na kailangan? Kasi ngayon, lalo na ngayon, we always talk about open the economy, talk about how we can uh, revamp, revitalize to do it, um, pump it up. Kung baga, kailangan kumita eh. Walang pagkukuha na ng taxes. So it boils down to the, it boils down again to businesses and to workers how to um, revitalize the country. So yun. Uh, importance also is that, syempre for today, Dati kasi parang yung pagod ang binabayaran or yung presence. Ngayon, it's all about safety. You're not obligated to travel. Okay? And then, the next point is, um, the boss, nga lang, advantage, hindi ka na uh, Kasi un- unless your job or your position requires you to monitor na monitor. <laughs> that's that's very ironic. Kasi... If there's a wrap, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you're using MS Teams, you're using Zoom, you're using Cisco, well, whatever na mga webinars or um, any intercom applications that corporate or not enterprise or not that you are using. So that's that's a that's a very <laughs> all of the wide choices. Uh, still monitoring the monitor. Ganun yung nangyaring concept. But nonetheless, please take note of the three. Why? Because take note of the three ano natin kanina, uh, reminders, the life cycle, the three categories, and then the pros and cons. Bakit? Now we go to your golden rule when you go back to your offices. Number one, remember, Management has, can and has the prerogative to exercise discipline. And then, siyempre, kailangan its uh, implementation is with appropriate penalties on erring workers. Ha? Okay, so gagamit-gagamit ka na naman dyan ng mga just and authorized causes and so forth. But again, those are legal requirements which we will discuss on the full, full course, but not now. But for today... Yung mga inano muna, this is one of those uh, terms of preference that you can also use as a uh, red flag. Kasi baka mamaya, there is a grave abuse of discretion, this, there's an abuse, there is an absence of good faith in the implementation of the discipline. So, yun yung mga bagay na titignan. Okay. Next is, you know, although, remember, uh, that discipline, the right to discipline is several employers, it must not curtail yung basic right to security of tenure. So, yun yung mga critical na kailangan makita doon sa, ano, sa, sa mga decisions nila. Especially, kasi remember, there is a twin notice rule a notice to explain and then the notice of decision as well established na yan. Uh, I'm sure for those HR practitioners, and yan, uh, lalo na if they're handling the empl- employee relations na part. Okay. Now, management prerogative with the, with the limitation not to curtail the security of tenure. Now, Let's review. Okay. Kasi nakita na natin yung cycle, nakita na natin yung category. We are already now, we have, you already have the two rules. Well, well and good. Now, but who is benefiting to whom? Yan po yung pinakamahalagang tanong. Bakit? Um, if you are, or if you are like my employees, who's enjoying the, the, my word is enjoying the work from home privilege, who's bearing the cons? Okay. Take note, take, take note, and this is very important. Some companies has taken it to a higher level. Okay. If you are familiar with some companies there at BGC doing this practice, listen carefully. 
So ano yung ibig sabihin ko doon? Uh, the company, the employees were allowed to work from home. Supposedly, they all report there at the office. That was the basic. Uh, and at the very beginning, they were asked to do exemptions. Later on, they went to work from home. Ano nangyari? Ano yung perspective na kailangan? Kasi, una, kung nag-work from home ka, wala kang bayad ng kuryente, tubig, mira, kuryente, tubig, mira, ko. Wala kang utilities. Walang, o hindi papasok ang janitor. Guard lang ang babayaran mo. Patay lahat. On the other side of the value chain, ikaw na empleyado, nasa, nasa comfort ng iyong house, you pay for the oriente, tubig, internet, and you still get paid the same. That's one scenario. The other scenario, same exit except one. The company pays for the internet for a higher bandwidth. So, hindi siya sinacharge doon sa mo. So, doon, nasa bahay ka. Remember, before, saan ka everything ganyan, hindi tumat. Tapi kasi tat- natural na na eh. Uh, Pinibear ng company yung cost ng kuryente tubig and utilities and the guard. But when you go home, you minus all of these things na tipid niya lahat yun, ikaw na andon. And you're still governed by the employee-employer relationship. Tapos yung isang model, the company pays for the company pays for the internet lang. Pero same sa hot. Okay. Now, that's the cost and the value. So the better question is the third one. Do you still deliver the same results when you were at the office compared to when you were at the comfort of your own house? Yes or no? I will not ask. Ask yourselves. If you are the HR manager, ask the department managers, ask the department supervisors. They will tell you the answer. Unless you and the rest of your team is all working at home. So it's going to be different. Pero it's different also if you're in the manufacturing and in the service sector. But nonetheless, for those working at home, do you deliver the same results? Especially na, no, remember, we're governed by the health protocols. Kaya that's, co- that's complicating everything. Okay. Those are also indicators. Should you pursue having a work from home or not? Kasi later on, we go to the discipline part. I'm just laying down the premises for you to understand later on bakit. Kasi let's go back to basics. Everything begins with, especially in the, in the subject of discipline, the fourfold test or the test of employer-employee relationship. Okay? Sorry, some things went wrong with my Zoom lab. Okay, sorry. Now, going back while, while, while uh, reconnecting my Zoom, no? Number one, selection and management, payment of pages, power of dismissal, and the most important thing as uh, mandated by law and for those who has been working for so long, na control test. Yan yung pinaka-importanting parte ng uh, pag-test ng employer-employee relationship. It has always been there. Okay, now, I will not touch the all the four except that I will discuss muna the last part, the control test. Okay. It has been uh, always decided by the Supreme Court, no? Na it, it, it has been telling us that, sorry, um, it has been keeping telling us na the manner of the con- how to conduct the job and the desired result is the most important element of the fourfold test. So, 
uh, okay, sorry. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, the other line, kasi. Anyway, now, yung pag control sa behavior as a result is the greatest manifestation of uh, of the employer-employee relationship. Now, put that in mind because at the end of the day, you will need to establish that in cases that you have to go to a case. Okay. Now, uh, let me ask each and every one of you, regardless if you are management, regardless if you're HR, or regardless if you're the employee, even if you are a outsource, kasi ang hirap na ngayon, kasi it's a full, ano, sa, sa, sa full course, we'll have to discuss probationary regularization and who are those considered regulars and the rules. Kasi, um, paano kung nakatali ang work from home sa'yo? Sa kontrata mo, sa employment contract mo, and then syempre, what are the monitoring mechanisms for you to be there? Okay. Um, ano lang, uh, admin my account to Zoom, please accept. Yun lang. Okay. Sorry. Now, next, and this is most critical, okay? The critical part of uh, your employment now. Is there a written code of conduct? Kasi merong uh, most of the, if not mga young or small companies, you will notice is that some of these, some of these companies does not have a consolidated or a coded code of conduct. Meron lang silang parang onboard na manual and so forth. So, pag medyo mature, meron pa nga yung KPIs, KRAs, maraming, maraming mga uh, written documents. Why am I asking you this? Remember, when you go home, and the stop the and the workplace the home becomes a workplace it becomes an extension of the office now as a rule the employer employee relationship does not cease to exist and the written your code of conduct extends to that workplace so that's your home imagine mo yung yung sariling pamamahay is now covered by the rules now uh, ang question ngayon doon, with the one year that has passed, meron ba? Number two, kung meron man before March of uh, 2020, has it been revised in accordance with the current situation, the pandemic? Kasi kung hindi, ang masakit-sakit na mangyayari dyan is that you will be judged you will be regularized, you will be disciplined under the old code of conduct which does not have the rules that's supposed to be settling in because it is, a pan you're, we're in a pandemic situation. So very, very critical. Okay? Now, uh, are you, is your company ex, uh, exercising compressed work week? Okay. Bakit ko tinanong? Um, the question is, how did it affect your, how did it affect your working hours? Kasi dati, 40 work, four, uh, 5 working days, 6 working days ka, bawasan. For the company to still survive. What did you do? What did the company do? Sige, compress natin. Kung may trabaho. Okay. Are you aware that compressed work week should be done in writing, agreed by all employees, signed into, submitted to DOLE, so and so forth. So maraming legal requirements. But did you do that? Why? Um, worst case scenario is um, you have changed your work week. 
So what does what does happen? Uh, if you do, if you do not have something in writing, yung governance in uh, compensation and benefits, it is affected. Okay, so you don't know what rules to govern. So, e paano kung ten hours ka a day late ka? Late ka ng five minutes. Is there a grace period? Is there a bawas? Okay, nag under time ka sa ten hours. Okay. Sobrang sipag mo naman, nagbabawi ka sa oras from 10, you did the 2 hours, 2 hours. What rules will govern? Because it is an 8-hour work or 9-hour, 1-hour for purposes of their lunch break. So, asa na yun? Asa na rules? Kasi, if not, uh, how can you discipline an employee who is exercising the privilege of off-site Pero there is no nothing governing your relationship. Again, we'll go back to the premise. It is contractual in nature. Okay. Second, um, you cannot uh, you cannot penalize someone without a written standard to measure it with or to compare it if there is conformance or non-conformance of the rule and of those diligence required to an employee. Kaya nga, I'm asking you, meron ba kayong agreement in writing? Kung wala, baka it's high time you do it, especially if you're management. Bakit? It's your protection. Ngayon naman, sa side employee, it's your protection for whatever rightful remuneration that is entitled to you. Have you revisited such situation? Yan yung mga sinasabi ko sa kliyente ko lagi. Kasi two sides of the coin. Sabi ko nga, we're doing this lecture in a neutral manner. So others, uh, other points that I may not discuss as of the moment, uh, if you can email us, drop it us with sa amin or text us. But if we can, we'll look at the Dropbox later lang. Okay? Now, Let's go to compensation and benefits. Another very important indicator for red flags, filing leaves. You're working from home. Can I do still a BL? Can I do still an SL? Or emergency leave? Worst case scenario, what do you do if you get COVID-19? Wag naman sana, na on wood. Are you a ma are your HR managers, HR officers, or ikaw na empleyado up to date on the rules? I said that's that's very 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 important. So what do I mean by that? Okay, number one, the five day service incentive leave. If your company is not providing you uh, SLVL or EL, you are guaranteed a five days SIL services after a year of service. Now, question, HR practitioner ka. Ah, yung kontrata mo medyo mas paganda. Regardless of your rank or position, may SLBL. Is this on top of the five days? The answer is no. Now, the more important question which is relevant to our lecture today. Can I utilize this during this pandemic? The answer is very simple, yes. Why? Because it's an extension of your office. It does not negate your privilege. Remember, lang, pa paalala lang naman, the SLVLEL is a management prerogative because what's obligated from them by law is only five. So if your uh, your company is generous enough to give you 15-15 plus three, eh, absorb doon yung five. Ano na yun? Generosity na rin lang yun. What's more critical now is that what if pag naman sana anak on wood, you get positive about COVID-19 and you are working from home. Oh, sad to say kasi hindi mo alam may lumalabas na kapwa uh, if your wife is also working ikaw you've been staying at the house and then she got it, and then we got it, and then the kids got it. Uh, what do you do? Ikaw, syempre, magsisimula sa'yo dahil ikaw ang nagtrabaho. So, do you have that privilege? Now, 
the rule says uh, if you get sick regardless can avail now Mero buti na lang um, before this lecture there is a very very recent ano very recent uh, change in the classification of covid-19 so i'm happy to share with that with you later but nonetheless for just what do you do uh syempre do all the necessary protocols get swab the rest of the family and then isolate and so forth inform your HR because there's already a governing IAT ruling so baka uh, hindi mo indicate so that's gonna be illegal under the Infectious Disease Act so bawal yo. now uh, just a good news for everyone so I'm happy to say the employees comp the employees compensation commission has decided and as a rule uh, added the coronavirus yan please look at the highlight lang na ano yan um uh, covid-19 is now compensated can will be compensated so just go to their website the ruling is there i will not discuss the the technicalities on the acquisition but i'm just happy to share to my fellow hr and fellow employees and we have shared this to all of ano na it's now compensable yun ang mahalaga doon so if you found positive then so forth but there again there is a rule okay just to share the good news lang there is a rule if you have the SLB LEL ubos mo na pag naubos here comes the sick leave the sick leave SSS you have to also maximize. Now, um, you have to also employ now, employ, uh, tell also SSS. Kasi now it pulls down there. Sa kanya nyo, ikiklaim yan. So, just go, uh, just go to their website. Please take note of the rule, the new, really, new ruling. And then, uh, andyan naman yung board reso, yung 2104.14. Okay? So, Please find time to review that because that is for your own good and for your own benefit. Or, uh, ano na dyan? And for your guidance. Kasi syempre ngayon, uh, some of those employees who still working with us had to file it. So makikita niyo yung importance yan pagka applying na. Now, where does it start and where does it and so where, uh, where does it start and when does it stop yeah kasi ang problema ngayon sa pandemic naging blur yung yung distinguishment between workplace and your home so na, na, na blur then yung uh when to call you Oh, ganyan. Kasi nangyayari, it's, it's always, you're always on the messenger, you're always on the Viber, you're on the Zoom, in Teams, if you're using Skype, and so forth. So, there is a continuous uh, communication through all these channels. Question is, is it overstepping your personal and family time? Or has it intruded your privacy? Say, okay, bakit ganun? And the other way around, ah, I mean, uh, you're abusing it so much, you're doing nothing, you're not delivering anything, and you're expecting payment from, uh, expecting payment from, from the time that has lapsed, you're supposed to really work, and when actually you're doing nothing. So, yung balance, eh. Okay, mabigat yun. Yeah, unless otherwise, so, there's already uh, an operations manual or a code of conduct that or memorandas that affecting how does your employee-employee relationship or your the manner you how you are working is still being implemented. Say, again, we are in the concept na you're, you're in the, you're working from home. So imagine that what's what's happening there. Kung hindi mo na ma-distinguish alin ang trabaho at ito ang oras sa, sa bahay, 
At saka, kailan ba ako dapat hindi na tinatawagan? O kailan ko siya pwede tawagan? Kasi important dito. So, maraming exemptions. During the, before the pre-pandemic, rules on the work from home and rules on the, ex uh, the exceptions on before calling you are very clear. Now, it is already blurred in application. Kasi nga, your home is your workplace. It's okay. So, number one, I always just tell to everyone. Dapat, the rule is, it's uh, honesty is the best policy. Okay? By this time around, uh, I hope your HR, if not you, is exercising your own timekeeping and reporting. Kasi that's the problem with these, these other guys, no? Um, they were so relaxed in their work from home that they forgot to have a memoranda, have a new procedure on the timekeeping and reporting, or kung medyo talagang well-talented ang inyong mga IT, embed nyo na dun sa reporting system ninyo, or yung online ninyo. Pag nag-online ka, rule na 15 minutes before working time, dapat naka-online na yung laptop mo. Na, especially if you're the back office, your accounting, tapos your schedule, kailang magbabayad ng, ng withholding tax, ng bat, so and so forth. Kanya, so depende sa position. And then, the question is, when the job has become a work from home, is it 24-7? Kasi, uh, I know for a fact, I have some clients, both uh, employees and also uh, employers, na uh, nakakalimutan. I'll give you one example. This is a telco company. I'll not mention the name. Okay? The para, um, the legal department has paralegals and then has a boss, uh, has a lawyer for a boss. But the problem is they because they were going to open a lot of cell sites and even it was pandemic. Um contractors, the bosses, project managers, they were keep calling the keep calling the paralegals after five o'clock. Saturday, Sunday, holiday, and even if this person was in quarantine in COVID-19. Can you imagine that? I know for a fact, I, in, 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 it is with, <laughs> uh, per, with personal knowledge. But anyway, and it's not only in the telco, but also in the BPO industry. So, yun yung ano doon. Kasi kaya nga babalik at babalik ako. Have you now have a revised employees code of conduct? You have now a new set of memos governing the pandemic. Again, for purposes of protecting both management prerogative and the security tenure of the employee of the business interest and of the employee's welfare. Because sometimes, and most of the time, because of the pandemic, they probably forget. Because that's it. The, the, uh, the argument was, as a bahay ka lang eh. So, can you imagine that? You're just in the house. And the other guy would say, hindi porkit na sa bahay ako, hindi ako nagtatrabaho. That was my mandate. You put me in the house, part of my privilege and part of the safety protocol, then I work at my house. Now, the manner of checking and the manner of reporting must be clear, must be well identified, must be agreed upon. Say again, uh, remember, if the work from home is not part of your contract, you're governed by the rules. Now, since it's pandemic, the requirements or the requirements of the scenario changes also. Have you also adjusted? Baka hindi yan yung mga isa sa mabagay na nakalimutan. Alam nyo, ang Employees Code of Conduct, ah, hindi naman laging nire-revise. But it has to adjust to the current 
Um, I'm seeing this pandemic as another two or three more years sa effects. Well, that's my opinion. Uh, unless we can fully say there is a herd immunity or there is already safety against the virus, this work from home setup will be part and parcel now of our culture as how to work. Now, my question is how do you adjust? How well have your organization, business organization, adjust? That's now the difficult question. Kasi kaya nga lagi sabi ko sa inyo, uh, these are, if you're seeing something negative or positive of all the scenarios, that's already your indicators. Okay, now, again, with the reporting system, have you automated? Because that's, that's, the, that's the critical situation about uh, that's a critical situation about the pandemic. It, that eh, idealism lang na pag-uusap yung mag ano tayo, mag-automate tayo, pus, lipat tayo sa cloud, um, do the biometrics and so forth. Uh, one of my previous companies, our login is through our phone. So I'm not sure if your company is doing that already. Phone. And then separate and log in sa laptop, consolidate, and then that's our in and out. So we went up to that even before pandemic. Pero hindi pa namin implement na test lang. But here comes now March 17, the first day of ECQ. Akala natin saglit lang yung pala, biglang siyang taon na mahigit. Your company has already, should have adjusted now. Kasi yung employee employment, again, and na. It's affecting your right. So, red flag is from the side of management, you don't have any other uh, checking system or monitoring system. On the other hand, the, uh, the employee, walang practice or it's not practicing the same or it's not following the same. So, that's, that's a difficult part. Okay. Now, how do you draw the line? Let us do a, sim uh, a simple house check for both side of management and side of the employee. Do you see it accept calls after office hours? Unless there's a rule, right? See, back in the number two, um, is there a current policy for accepting calls? Kasi if you if you have I have this client in Australia, uh, meron sila dyan. Pag sumagod sila, that's automatic $10. Kasi that's outside of office working hours. Now, um, did the policy change when nag work from home sila? The answer is no. Okay, the next question is, uh, especially if you're IT, if you're a nurse, if you're a medical practitioner, is there an on-call policy on your company? Kasi baka wala. Okay. Uh, baka, ano, is, what's the rule? What's the privileges? Is there a total rewards management or there is a compensation package, an additional remuneration for that? Okay, kasi kung wala, I can always say no if I was the employee. But if I was the owner and you don't accept my call or if I was your manager, ah, uh, I will take it against your performance. So can you imagine? Because again, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's an issue about who's doing his job. And then, siyempre, when do you draw the line? Okay. So, alimawa, for me, as much as possible, pre-pandemic, um, May sinagawa na namin yung policy or actually meron ng existing. Pero ako, personal practice, I, after 5 o'clock, I don't call my my staff. Huwag na. Kasi that's our time. Unless it's super emergency, there's a report or nag-usap kami after office, can you manage to send this? Can you manage to call me and validate this and that? And that's it. That's the time. But nonetheless, if not, sorry. Hindi na. Okay, and then especially kung ako ang tatawagan ng mga tao ko kasi hindi ko sila tinatawagan pag lumagpas yung alas 8 po. And at the end, is there a communication policy to guide each and everyone? Siyempre, working from home now is very different because 
your cell phone is part and parcel of your office tool now. That has become very, very different. No? Ganun yung nangyari. So, check your culture. Check your policy. Check your rewards management if you get there getting paid. Or are there exceptions for the calls? Is this, is this exception established in your policy in a memo? Or maybe it's high time you call the attention of management. You put it all in code, again, for protection or both. Or um, maybe it's time to review, especially naman yung mga on-call and also the communication policy. Kasi, I'll give you a very, very good situation. Work from home. Okay. Masaya lahat. Implementation. Tumas yung kuryente tubig, eh, kuryente tubig and food. Because you're at the house. Um, you had to increase the bandwidth. Pack. You had to increase your load. But there was no policy whatsoever for paying for this additional cost. So that's a problem. Okay. Now, um, some I know some companies is doing added remuneration, but only the internet. Pero meron na sila talaga ang communication policy. We'll give you a plan 1,000 na phone, so on and so forth. Something like that. Well and good. But when you have a phone, you're supposed to kind of answer the call any given time, even if it's unholy hours. Problem? Not? Question is, did you agree? Did you sign? So it's your under obligation. Okay? So those are the things that uh, you have to understand very, very carefully. But at the end of the day, you have to harmonize all of these things. Because categories of the employee's life cycle, it the cycle itself, okay? The, code of, the presence of the code of conduct, is it written? Uh, if short on time, have you done a memoranda for that purpose to govern all the rules? Because regardless of whatever we talk about here, if it's not written, it cannot be protected. Yes, you can always argue in court. Yes, you can always argue with Dole. Fine by me. But if it's written, it is for the protection of both parties. Yeah, okay? Kasi nga, um, the work from home is a privilege. It's not a mandate. Okay? Uh, next point that you have to put in your mind is that, remember, the manage prerog management prerogative gives the employer the leeway to manage uh the gives him a how to manage his operations but now again as an exception not to curtail the right of security of tenure of the employee and then sempre unwritten uh silent rule i know not to curtail the family time also naman i say i would know if i were the employee and to call my boss at any given time i'm sure magagalit uh, din yun but uh, the ad most of the time is the other way around. Um, we have been, I'm sure you have ex uh, not na noticed this that um, there is no more. Ano, uh, we have been relaxed and accustomed to it that sometimes we call beyond working hours. Pero it's an yeah, not appropriate time to call or accept it or is the, it may be in disregard of something more important or more valuable. So, kaya nga kailangan ni harmonize. Harmonize your rules, harmonize your procedures, harmonize your relationship in order to have a better culture on how to implement all of these privileges either on-site or off-site. So with that, thank you very much. I will accept questions. Um, I'll give the floor to the admin. Thank you very much.
Okay. I'll accept any questions. Please post your questions, guys. Okay, guys, I'm um, waiting for your questions. But... Please put it to the Dropbox lang po para lang makita ko. Sorry, uh, yung secondary screen is in my right, so for the Zoom. Questions, please. Okay, guys, um, we'll have our stress and time management, yung full course po on uh, May 20. So, it's, an, it's a whole day thing. Um, we had a very great uh, feedback doon, so you, you might want to enroll there, especially if um, your company is doing a occupational health and safety practices programs. You can get you can get a lot from that. So I encourage them na umaten kayo doon. And then if you're an HR manager, HR officer, or man, if you're the owner, please please join us. It's a nine to four thing. Tapos on uh, June one, we have the talent and management. Yung full course nito of uh, on June one. Okay, so it's all it's only four hours. Yung nine to twelve. So, please join us, especially if um, you're developing your own succession planning, If especially kung medyo bago pa yung corporations and you have to talent pool kasi medyo nabawasan yung inyong workforce but you want to inculcate a better work output and syempre talent and culture, please uh, uh, join us. Yan. And on June 22, we have the personal branding of the COHR. This is a... Um, signature course for yours truly. Um, ang perspective natin dito is that the CEO is the an office of implementation and then the HR is an office of culture. So again, if you have a long-term planning about that, uh, we highly encourage you to attend for both, especially for department managers and presenters. Kasi ang, ano namin, ang paliwanag namin dyan, it's going to be a lifelong uh, job for you to do the foundations. Kaya napakahalaga nung branding because it affects the brand of your company and also the brand of employment that you have and how you carry yourself as a person, as a CEO, as an HR and how does it affect the business. So that's how important yung ano. And these are all parallel courses. Um different lang yung approach but nonetheless it's a moving forward if you can complete all of this um well and good kasi uh, if you can manage to attend our if you did attend our leaders developing leaders part of it is a building team it's an organizational development approach so we encourage we highly encourage you to please join us at least uh, you, you, learn, you learn a thing or two especially on um macro perspectives of development okay um may I ask is there already a question let me see okay that very clear very clear the explanation thank you very much i put thank you so much webinar how about for government agencies do you have a training designed for discussion about guidelines for work from home 
Um, we have we have a program, and then we have also a subject matter expert, Jaan. But if you want to have a consultancy design, just uh, inform our you know, inform our uh, family, our limitless family, or just drop us a message so I can understand your requirement. And then uh, iko course through namin kay limitless yung aming sagot. Kasi ano yan eh, uh, mandatory. So SS PhilHealth pag ibig BIR. So you have to do, you have to understand yung ano dyan, yung mga rules. Nagbago, especially remember filing now SS PhilHealth pag ibig is all online. Okay? Uh, okay, uh, let me add. I hope I did answer that. Please email me na lang. That is from Sheila Marie Ibane. So please email me. Everything update, sir, employer to do. Employer do with the employee whose performance is below, but always there is internet connection. Okay. Uh, Renan, Ercilia, sir, I, sir, or this lady. But anyway, um, just to answer the question. Remember, the rule says na it is a management prerogative to discipline. Okay? Pero kailangan it's appropriate the penalty. Ngayon, if uh, kanino yung internet connection, um, number one, who's providing it? Who's paying for it? Number two, um, kaninong obligasyon yung kailangan siya ay well-connected? Number three, um, did the company do, do with, did with uh, due diligence in providing the right, full, the right tools for doing the work. Kasi ano yan eh, it's a balance between the claim of the employee and the claim of the employer. Kasi kung ginawa naman lahat ng tama and there is proof that this employee is underperforming under just causes, then there, there is a appropriate ground to discipline. So, kailangan balance eh. Ay, may kulang yung facts eh. Um, ano natin? I, i ano natin yung i ano natin yung yung mga facts. Uh, I-clarify natin. Again, just going back for the design, training design for your yung sa government regulatories, please kindly coordinate with uh, Ma'am Richelle Trinidad. So, I can understand your requirement. Okay. Okay, internet. So again, if the employee is performing below, we can always uh, have a check. So ako, when I was with Star Cruises and in, in my own company na, what I'm doing now is that issue them a performance improvement plan just to be safe, legally safe. Kasi pag wala, ibig sabihin, you have, kung ikaw yung HR manager, nag-implement ka na ng mga interventions and this guy still fails, then it's the right time to do something about it under the authorized just causes, okay? And then, um, nasa ano po yung recording, I can review, understand the employee discipline. Nasa YouTube po tayo, we are live. You can review us there. Po dan, okay? Please take note of that. Nasa YouTube tayo, just subscribe there. Subscribe to our Facebook. Uh, message us anytime and then email us if you need to. So, ganun po. Tata, well explained, very timely. Okay. Thank you, ma'am, ano, ma'am Teresa Villa Rosa for the compliment. Is there a copy po? Nasa, nasa, ano po natin, nasa YouTube. So, any other questions, guys? Thank you very much. If none, uh, Again, this is uh, Mavs Flores Po, Ray Marvin Flores um, of Oreganum Solutions and of Limitless Power Coach. Um, please, and again, I encourage you if you are an HR pra uh, practitioner po, please join us. We have a photo op, guys. So please, uh, please on your cameras just for uh, the purpose po ng, ano, ng photo op natin. Okay. Before we end the session, guys, please, on your cameras for purposes of the photo op. Uh, Julius, please take over. <laughs>